We're now on to block four, which has got the two miners, pitch head winding gear, the church in the distance, not a bitty block really, the head of the dog, and the cheese. So we've got left from the previous block, we've got some of the man holding his sheaf, and the cheese down here I've modelled up one of the apples. I've already done the church. Probably not very much will appear. This church still exists in Point, I believe. Here are the miners, which have been flattened out on the board, and it's very early stages of modelling them. There's two miners, and they're both holding their lamps based on this reference up here, fairly heavily, which I've squared up so I can keep to the size. I'm inclined to always increase the size while I'm modelling, and it's very important we keep these at size. So I have absolutely begun based on that reference, but now of course I'll take over and model them up as real people. I like doing the faces first, because it gets me to feel they're real people when I'm modelling. The two manners are nearly finished now. We got a better reference, more blown up, because I wanted to study their clothing to try and make it look authentic. We think they're perhaps wearing leather jackets underneath, and this very high waistline of their trousers with a belt going round. Because unless you kind of study the authenticity of their outfit, they'll just look you know, like any old man standing there. And their caps. I've got yet to do the lamps. I've got a reference for them from the internet. got a whole lot of miners' lamps. And I'll make them look authentic, because even though they're only about three inches tall, you want to get them authentic. And the whole thing is built out in a very subtle, low-level relief, because these men are in the background. And they've now got to be superimposed over the mining buildings that we're about to make to go behind them. I wanted a long building which continues from the corn sheaf right through into the last block, but is actually largely obscured. But that means in this mural, or any mural, you have to model quite a lot of stuff that you're going to cover up. So, so far we've got the roof and we're going to be doing these arched windows typical of industrial buildings of that time.